Ayush, do you not get bored eating homemade food every day? Um, not so much. I like homemade food. Oh, we all do. But eating it every day? How tedious. You should try the canteen food. You get it hot and fresh and you can pick a different item every day. Some day. Hey Ayush, you're back. How was school? Hello sis. School was fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. I hope those students don't bully you anymore about you carrying a tiffin instead of eating from the school canteen like them. Yes, they still do. And it doesn't appear very cool to me either. They buy hot and fresh food and flaunt their beverages and snacks. And I sit there eating roti sabzi from that typical dabba. I just don't understand. It's just a matter of 50 rupees every day. Why doesn't mom allow me to spend it on delicious food from the canteen? Are we poor? Do we not have enough money? Do we? Oh, hold on. I think I have a question for you. When we go to the mall or theater almost every weekend, how much does your pizza or pasta usually cost? Do you remember you were checking the bill total last week? Yes, it was around 1500 rupees. That is way bigger than 50 rupees. But then why are we having these double standards when it comes to spending money? It is okay if I spend 1500 rupees with my family, but it's not okay if I spend 50 rupees with my friends. What is this whole confusion about money? Oh my little innocent brother, let me explain what mom explained to me when I was 12. After all, you are already making a list for your 12th birthday. So you deserve this sharing. First thing first, let's get some stationeries that I urgently need. Actually, money is an instrument which we exchange for something we want to buy. It could be as small as a toothpaste or a pen and as big as our latest luxurious car. It is something without which our survival is not possible. Now stop giving me a lecture on money. I've read this in my textbook too. Not at all. Let me complete our use. Basically, when you buy anything, it comes at a particular price. If you have money, that does not mean you can straight away buy it. You need to firstly check three things. Number 1, what is the exact use of the thing you are buying? Like when you were a kid, you threw tantrums and bought toy cars. And the next day, you used to always destroy the cars. Mom and dad always felt that the car was not worth it since you hardly used it for 24 hours. But then, at that point of time, you were a kid, and hence your impulsive desire to buy toys was respected. Now you are a big boy, and you know your priorities. Okay, I think I understand. What is the second? Number 2 which form of money you use is important Money comes in different forms what do you mean one chocolate and one vanilla ice cream please You pay cash for little purchases like your favorite ice cream or maybe your small stationery For that too we can now prefer a UPI I will explain that to you afterwards Or else we can use credit and debit cards to pay like dad pays at petrol pumps or movie theaters. We can give a check if we have a bank account. Checks are usually used for transactions where we need trust. Few places the shops or sellers only want check payment. And now we have a modern way. We can use internet banking to pay easily from anywhere. What we need to understand is the transaction involves money. We must be sure if the money used is worth it or not. It's not just cash or bank balance. You think mom doesn't allow you to use money in buying snacks, right? Yes, I want to be able to buy snacks like all my friends do. Do you know mom pays much more money at the vegetable store and grocery store just to make sure we get fresh and healthy food? The canteen food may sound cool, but it may not suit your health daily. Would you be happy? if dad then needs to spend thousands of rupees when you get a stomach ache or an intestine infection no no i want to be healthy i know home food is nutritious and all that but i didn't know the money side of it i think i've started understanding what money is but sis i want to know more yes but first thing first come on let's go home you need to finish your homework please <laughs>